What's up, gang? Today is Monday. It is 5.05 p.m. and I am currently heading over to Will's apartment on campus to make some carp bait. So we have been trying for a couple of weeks to catch some of the carp that are in the pond at our school's campus. We've got a lot of decent size, I think he said they're grass carp in the pond. So we are gonna try to get on them. But what we gotta do first is we have to go make some bait. We have to bait up the area that we're trying to fish. And then in a couple of days, we're gonna finish making the rest of this video and we're gonna go catch some big grass carp at Gardner Webb. The one thing I was requested to bring from Will for this process was a can opener, and I did, but it doesn't work. Kind of crappy and old, so Will's improvising. He's got a box cutter. He's making it happen. Yep. That boy. What's up, guys? It's Will from Pleasant City Outdoors. Uh, we're back here at the pond at the school here. Uh, this time around, we're going to be targeting grass carp. So what we're doing right now is we're getting some bait ready. We're gonna take some access bait that we have for, and for the next few days we're gonna throw probably, I think this is about 10 pounds of bait out in the water. And we're gonna get the fish you know, in that spot feeding and get them used to like the bait we're throwing and stuff. We're gonna come back and do the same thing tomorrow. We're doing this all at about five o'clock since we wanna fish around five o'clock and then we're gonna fish the third day. So in this mix I have about two pounds of just regular wild bird seed from Ingles. Um, then the other two things I have in here, or actually the other three things I have in here is just plain millet, forever millet, and Concord grape. I'm going to drop a link in the description below to one of my buddies, actually Team Wildwater. They have two good videos on how to make millet and how to make rice, and they can show you guys what to do. So the last step in making this bait is I'm going to add two cans of sweet cream style corn, or golden sweet corn, yeah. We're going to add two cans of that, and then we're going to go down and throw it out. So ideally, in a bigger body of water, we would want to be kind of on a kayak out here, able you know get it out far. But since we're in a small, you know, pond, I'm just going to take balls of it and kind of sling it out. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could go. We go. We're gonna come back out here tomorrow, do the same thing. And then the day after that, we're gonna catch some big carp. Yeah, but tomorrow, actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bait up a lot today, but if just a little bit less tomorrow, and then right before we fish, we're gonna bait up, and then we'll fish it. Yep. So we don't want to keep the carp feeding and actually get them overfed, or they won't, you know, eat. Yeah. So stay there tuned. Go. I'm gonna catch a 40 pounder. What is up, people? It is day three of our uh, little carp fishing challenge. So day one and day two, we were baiting up the pond, getting everything ready to go. Uh, we went out last night after we had baited up about two hours afterwards and there were just carp everywhere. So today we're finally actually gonna fish. I'm super pumped. Uh, I've never caught a carp, common grass, you name it. I've never caught it. So I'm looking forward to potentially catching my first carp today. So hopefully we'll get that uh, knocked off the species bucket list here today. Uh, Will's got all the bait ready. He's got everything ready to go. Will's done a lot more of this. Uh, he's got a lot of knowledge about carp fishing and, and bait and all that. Works with a few friends of his from back home. Uh, they're called Team Wild Water. You can check them out. They've got a YouTube channel as well. We'll link that in the description as we said earlier. So I am currently heading over to uh, Will's apartment. We are going to walk down to the pond from there and I will keep you updated. Let's get to fishing. It's day three. You ready to catch some big ones? Yeah. It's gonna be good. Come on, try. Oh, it's gonna be juicy. You saw some big ones out last night, right? Yeah. I saw a couple small ones in the bank, but a couple big ones rolling out towards the middle. So hopefully we can get them on the bottom and get them feeding. Hell yeah. Let's get after them. Ooh, so excited. What's up everybody? We're out here at the pond. We've got rods in the water. Uh, we've cast out four rods. We've got the same bait that we were showing you. Will's about to cast one out for us. Not yeah. going very far because we've seen some of the fish rolling on the top of the water pretty far out and some rolling pretty close. So we got some rods far out, some rods 
medium and some rods pretty close. Yeah, and we've already seen a couple of pretty big carp uh, since we've been down here and in the past couple days, like I said earlier. So hopefully this spot will be golden. We'll see as we go. What's up, guys? It's about 6 o'clock. Got all the rods out. We've thrown a couple couple big bait casters. Uh, then we have a couple spinning rods out. If we catch on on these spinning rods, it would be nice. So we baited up with uh, the rice pack bait, and then we baited up with the rice and bird seed mix pack bait. And so we're just sitting here. We've been seeing some carp on top. This isn't very deep out here, so if we see their tails, you know, flowing around and stuff, it's only about two or three feet deep, so it's not a big deal. Um, we've been seeing a lot of action. Hopefully we'll get one here in a second. We got turtle man over here trying to catch a little baby turtle. Unfortunately, that's about how well the fishing has gone so far, but hopes are still high. It looks like Will's hooked up to a big cart, but he's not. So I'm the one who wore flip flops, so I'm the one who's going to go in and see if I can unsnag it because it's like three feet off the bed. Kind of scary. I feel like trying to unhook it from that, so. Alright, I'm just going to go grab one. <laughs> Freaking contaminated now. Got a little chime check for you. It is 6.30. Not going terrible, not going great. Oh, there's another tail swipe right out there. They're all right there. I'm about to remake this right over A few moments later. Oh my god, that thing's so fucking powerful. Do I just need to get up under it? Yeah. He's got a tank on the line. I'm going to <laughs> Oh my god! Look at this freaking fish. Oh my god. Bro, this thing is powerful. Oh my god. Alright, come come lay down again. Lay down again. Yeah. It's fine, watch it. Ugh, holy <laughs> There we go. Alright, so we're just sitting there just chilling. A rod going off. We got a nice big old Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well I'm not gonna pick them up at the moment, but we got a nice big old grassy right here. Time check. It is 7.15 p.m. So far we've got one carp in the bag. You just saw it. So we're, uh, we're gonna keep going. See if we can get some more. I'm up next. How'd that feel? It was nice. Uh, my, it, that was my PB grass carp and my, yeah, that was my PB carp. So, you know, all in a good day so far. We'll take it. Let's get some more. What's up, gang? It is 8.15 p.m. We are still sitting on one fish. 
I'm thinking, since we've only got one fish in the bag so far, um, that we can do a little something special for this video. Will went and caught some nice smallmouth today at the river nearby our school, so we might just have to uh, drop that into the video. What you think, Will? Yeah. Yeah. There were some solid fish, so since I'm the only one on this channel who can catch fish, you might as well put videos of my fish in there. Yeah, it, it's fair. It's fair. But yeah, so we're going to stay out here a little bit longer. Hopefully get one more, but we'll see. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Holy crap! Holy crap! Let's freaking go! Alright guys, so I'm out here fishing. First smallie of the, the trip. We're gonna get a weigh on him. Oh, I suddenly got the jig out of his mouth. This is not the best way to weigh a fish, but... He is about a three and a half pounder. Solid fish. First fish of the trip. We're gonna get him back to his home. Look at that brute. Good lord, that is a fish. There he goes. He's gone. Back to his home. Woo! Another, another fish, got another fish on, it's not as big, but it'll do. Oh, they're getting in this current and fighting like crazy. Woo! It's another, another smallie. Oh, uh, yeah. He's not huge, but he'll do. Oh, I'm having trouble with that one. There you go. Another little brute. It's a good fish. Right in the top of the mouth. Oh yeah, he was not good in that way. Alright, fish number two. There you go. Alright, we got another fish. Not sure how big it is. Oh, get out of the current, get out of the current. Oh, this spot is turning out to be fire. Fire. It's another smallie. Oh, hard thing about these smallies is when they get in this current. And I'm gonna drag him up. Woo! Come here, big girl. Oh, come here. Come here. Oh, I can't get a hold of I'm down there. Woo! There's another one. I'm gonna get a weight on her and throw her back. So the weight on this puppy is about a pound and a half. It's not terrible. I'm gonna get her back. Boop. Good release. Alright guys, so this is the end of our trip. I caught all the fish on this trip. Garrett didn't catch anything, so I'm gonna do the outro. This is Pleasant City Outdoors. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, and tell your friends about us. Deuces.